It's an airport designed to take people into space for a price, and the spaceport wasn't cheap to build. The $209 million project was paid for by you, the taxpayer. Now investors are hoping a bill protecting manufacturers and suppliers will keep that business in New Mexico. Action 7 News reporter Liz McKernan explains. Anyway, this so, so, could so, so, be the you know, ultimate you know, destination for the rich and famous. Soon, Spaceport America plans to test aircraft right here in New Mexico that will eventually take paying customers into space. But right now, the project is grounded by red tape. What this is about is getting uh, Spaceport America into a competitive position with those other uh, spaceports. To do that, you know, Virgin so, Galactic so, so, CEO George Whiteside says New Mexico legislators must do what other states have done and take away any liability for companies that that make parts or supplies for the spaceport. Virgin Galactic already has that exemption, but right now other companies could be sued if an accident happens during space travel. The concern? Well, it's not clear what Virgin Galactic plans to do if this bill doesn't pass. So is there a chance then, even minute, that you guys would consider perhaps not continuing any further on this if it didn't pass? I, I really would prefer to just say, you know, we're going to do everything we can right now to get this bill through, and then, you know, we'll take a look at um, what the legislature does. But our, our focus really is on the future health of the spaceport. A hefty taxpayer and private investment whose future is still up in the air. In Albuquerque, Liz McKernan, K. OAT, Action 7 News. Chips into space go for $200,000. Virgin Galactic tells us it sold enough flights, though, to be booked for at least two years.